higher level of efficiency in your building uh, based on uh, trying to achieve platinum. Um, yeah, definitely. And I think the 30% is a number I remember as well. I mean, remember, we don't think about this every day. Mm -hmm. A few folks do. Um, so it's helpful to, to have us that we're struggling with a decision and sure. more information, perhaps, that we can see, okay, the payback is here, even though we might have to add some more money. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I know that, that we did give you those numbers when, um, or at least Vuk presented them verbally, uh, when we when we were here talking about the additional million and a half dollars that uh, that was needed for the uh, you know, for the project, so uh, I I will get back to you uh, on that. But it's it is significant. We have done other uh, lead platinum uh, projects, and the uh, for instance at Moraine Valley they are uh, they are uh, realizing. Uh, substantial savings. Well, I mean, and that's a message of, you know, we as the elected people have to give to the, as you well know, yeah. the constituents about why we maybe have done something differently than we had intended to do. Agreed. But does anybody, I mean, that's one thing to point to the environmental aspects of the building. Is there anything else that that you can point to that is the cause for these numbers being off so far? I mean, or is there any solution? I mean, you come up with like just getting rid of a whole area of mechatronics and laser photonics. I mean, that's a floor, an entire floor, if you want to say. Exactly. I mean, it's like lopping off the yeah. floor of the building. Is there, I I'm guessing that you entertain <coughs> lots of thoughts on. Yes on how um, to cut to cut the, to cut the prices here, one being the environmental aspects, one being just cut a floor off. I mean, this is it? Well, um, we, we've <laughs> talked with our cost consultant, and uh, what's difficult right now is that because the CDB cannot share the, bid, the, the bids with us to see what detail is in the bids, it's a little tough to analyze right now. We don't have the advantage of seeing what the detailed uh, bid results uh, are. We have these seven, we more or less have these seven uh, uh, numbers, um, and uh, but the detail, the exact detail, we have not been provided copies of. Well, <coughs> isn't it hard then to figure out where the numbers went wrong? I mean, why don't they want to share that information then? Well, what Scott, have you talked to the CDB? What does that matter? Because no. then you might find out, like, what areas that you guessed wrong in, and then we could take a closer look at those particular areas. Right. Um, the, the additional information that we do have, uh, if you recall, the way CDB bids are projects, they bid it by major trades. This project, though, they bid to a general, just one contract. But they, we do have the numbers for uh, at least the four low bidders for the what they're called protective subs for the major trades, heating, ventilating, electrical, that grouping of, of trades. There's, uh, I think, five, six numbers there. So we have those and we have analyzed those. Uh, I, I can tell you we know that the, the heating systems for the building um, were, were substantially over what was estimated. And, um, uh, and again, without unfortunately, without having the detail behind that bid number, um, just that value, we can't really analyze why that is over, but I know that one was, was significantly over what the estimator had for the heating system. That's the geothermal? That includes the geothermal, it also includes the BAS systems, which, um, which because it's platinum building, do get uh, the BAS building automation systems. They get somewhat complex for, uh, they get a little more complex for a platinum building. Um, so, but it includes both of those items. And then, <laughs> there was some question with those protected, but it, which really weren't bids. They were just numbers that the contractors, the seven contractors, had to submit in their bids. There was question as to who, um, what they included within each one of those. Some general contractors chose to include certain mechanical items under their general bid, and so we're com we're comparing apples and oranges. And, and unless we actually saw the detail, we got the overall number of the protected subs within each one, but unless we saw the detail, we can't really compare uh, apples to apples. Not, you know, uh, the numbers were just kind of all over the board because different 
subcontractors are submitting uh, to these generals, and then different generals have different ways of allocating it. At the end of the day, they submit one bid, and, and that's what gets evaluated by, uh, by the CDB. The breakdown was just for informational purposes to the CDB, and so because it got canceled, we never uh, got the benefit of seeing um, uh, the actual detail uh, of those. For any further but detail. Isn't it true that with seven generals, many of them could have used the same subs for this type of work? Yes. I mean, I know if I went to my heating and air conditioning guy, he'd look at me like I was silly if I told him I wanted solar heat and I wanted geothermal because he doesn't deal in that stuff. And I know there's a lot of general subcontractors that don't deal in sustainable right. <coughs> systems. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you're talking about the same people, same people. coming in and, and bidding. That's right. I, I would agree with that. I also, I just want to make sure I have some clarity. Um, this variance of $3.5 million. Yes. The only real option to cover this is to take away an entire floor. Is that is that is that the issue? Help me, please help me to have some clarity. Is that what I'm hearing you say? Well, I mean, we, it, it, to cut that kind of uh, money, we really can't look at changing finishes, okay. uh, changing uh, you know the casework. That's that's kind of small peanuts. So yes. So, yes. so so yes, so we, we need to look yes. at major reductions in scope. Now, the, I want I do want to just say so it's clear because I know you don't know why we <coughs> what we studied. We took the first floor out, but we also looked at providing those spaces in space in the T building. So we didn't yeah. lose those spaces completely. We looked at uh, relocating them to space in the T building. So the cost of renovating in the T building would have been less expensive than on the floor. And that's that's accounted for in that estimated savings that's on the screen of 3.1 million. So we, we our goal in what we did was to, to not give up um, significant scope and just cut it and lop it off from the project, but to try to provide the spaces that were originally programmed. I, I'm not going to say that we have done that completely, but we have tried as much as possible to keep that program just in a different way. Yeah, go ahead. Go. I just want to be clear, this this was a supposal. Yes. Uh, we didn't yes. run this by faculty or anything, so I just want, I just right. want to be Correct. clear on yeah. that. Correct. Uh, because you know my commitment to our faculty right. is that before we do anything, mm -hmm. we would run this entire process with right. them. So yeah, right. uh, I just wanted to be clear for those that are here that so nobody yes. panics. <coughs> I, I have a, another. It's, it's going to be rather harsh question, and I'm going to just apologize to the board um, in advance. But is this an E and O opportunity? Is, is there any omissions here that we can point to? Because we're asking the taxpayers to come up with something because there is some, I, I, lack of a better term, incompetence, perhaps. Now, you know, I, I apologize for being a little harsh with the question, but is, could this potentially be an E&O issue? Because we're asking the taxpayers to write a bigger check when we perhaps should be looking in a different direction. So well, I'm asking that question. Uh, we certainly take, uh, uh, by our contract with the CDB, we certainly um, are going to work within that uh, to, um, you know, to, uh, at our own uh, costs, um, uh, do any, uh, any redesign um, fees uh, are all uh, on us. And uh, so that is within, uh, within um, uh, our responsibility. Uh, where, you know, we don't have full control of the, you know, of market conditions. Um, and uh, I think there is uh, some of that that has affected this project. And I, and I believe that if, uh, I believe that if our base bid uh, was on target, was, it, was within the one to two percent uh, either under or over that I mentioned uh, before where projects normally uh, come in uh, that um, that I believe uh, there would have been there would have been a different uh, different things considered with that uh, million dollars you know that if the project that million dollars over on the base bid that that um, uh, could have set a different light 
uh, on the project. And so, so we, we really have no other decision either up or down. We haven't run this by that. And we decide to go with this, there's problems. I mean, this is what we're facing. I don't know if there could have been more time, but I question whether there could have been more time. If this could have been looked at, depending on what we knew or didn't know, somebody didn't know before this. Because now it's either up or down. What's the administration suggest? Our uh, recommendation is uh, to move uh, forward with the rebidding with uh, with the current conditions as they are. So our recommendation is. You mean the option, first option? Yeah. Yeah. Three point five million. Yeah. So where does the money come from? We've uh, uh, David, you want uh, from? Uh, well, we don't have an exact projection of uh, fiscal fourteen, the current fiscal year that we're ending. Uh, now, uh, what the contribution to fund balance would be, um, uh, I'm confident that we'll have enough money to, to pay for it. I guess my biggest concern, and it, it was when I first talked with you about what was going on, is how on earth did we get the FF&E from 800000 to have a $2 million difference overrun how did somebody not know that we weren't getting dollars from CDB for the equipment that we were going to need for the type of building that we were going to have when they were still functioning on an old classroom only building? I, I just don't understand how that got lost in the shuffle. Is it, is it fair to say, Jeff, that that should have been caught at several points along the way? CDB should have picked up that. Uh, you, your architects, everybody should have picked up. It's fair to say that. Um, uh, for sure, uh, it was uh, was an oversight. Uh, but I guess the you know the the, the CDB and, and our uh, the, the focus is on getting out to bid and the construction side of things. And the FF&E obviously happens later. Um, but and, and as I said, the CDB does not manage. They will not manage the bidding of the FF&E. We will do that with the college. Uh, uh, separately but the focus was on that it's no excuse it's no excuse for that for for um uh for not uh recognizing that uh sir let me point out one more thing <clears throat> while we lose the fall as we said construction time we actually would be going uh the project would actually start almost a year later and that's assuming that all the redesign hit all their target according to the schedule you've given here it's about a 10 month difference in start time yes but if it slips one month that means you would get into the winter right and so you could essentially lose over a whole year in the construction start time at the yeah I think we were originally anticipating a, a construction start of June or July this year yes the project was originally to start uh, approximately the end of May uh, right about when you get out of class this year. Mm -hmm. um, it was intended to start um, with the first schedule we presented. Um, we are bidding late in the year. Um, the, the expectation is that they really wouldn't be able to start uh, start foundations until February. Uh, and then the alternate schedule, which I don't think we've actually gotten to, um, is um, six or seven months this later. Is the alternate. <coughs> this would be the alternate schedule, which um, which shows a later date, and as a result, that $3.7 million number that's on the previous page included an additional um, uh, inflation uh, factor because of uh, even yet a more extended. Uh, How could we have started construction in May of this year based on when the bids came in? And uh, I mean, that would have been pretty quick. If you know, uh, you, I apologize, you're right. The, the original bid date was March, um, and it was, it, there was a, an issue with. The CDB found an issue in the front end that they had missed, and so we delayed the bid until April. And you're right; I'm remembering the the March bid may start. It would have been a June start this year, as we had the April bid been successful. <coughs> is it have more? Oh. Is it